Hello everybody, this is Dana with the Freedom Please channel and EssenceOfMe.com. I am coming to you all today with the Yarn Crafters chat video. And this video is going to have a little bit of everything because I've been so behind on updating you all. But I knew I had to come back, right? So, pardon the glare. If you are interested in seeing my haul, it is a small one, but it's still a haul. I have some yarn and some notions and some books to show you. I, um, I am also going to update you all on a project that I'm about to ship out, but I wanted to show you all here. And then, um, of course, as always, we are going to chat it up. So if you're interested in seeing what I have to show you all, stick around after the introduction. And for all of my yarn crafters, you know what to do. Hit pause and then come right back. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Um, I hope this message finds you all well. And I'm um, part of my voice. I don't know what it is. I've been tired and running around like crazy. And so um, I just finished this project for my sister. And I thought, let me jump on and get it on camera now. And, you know, actually, I'm going to take this off so you can see. There we go. Um, and, yes, tired eyes and everything. Let me jump on camera and show you all what I have going on over here. And um, I'm excited about it. So, if I have to pop these glasses back on, you all are just going to have to pardon the glare because I want to be able to see what I'm doing and all that good stuff. So, as I pull everything out... Um, what are you all working on? I know I keep asking you what you're working on for the holidays, but this past couple of weeks, I have actually been doing quite a bit of shopping, even though I was trying not to, but they've been doing such great sales that I have been couponing like crazy. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is some wonderful things that I got when I, um, last week, half price books had a fantastic sale all week long and if you are not subscribed to their email list you should be I I told you all about this a while ago on a, my coupon video if I remember I will add the link in the description box but I always forget so forgive me but um, there's just some places that I just love to have their emails um, be on their email list because they send out coupons. Well, Half Price Books had something crazy like 40% off on Monday and Tuesday, 30% off on Wednesday, 20% on Tuesday, then they had something else on Thursday and 50% on Sunday. So, I have my mind all set. I have my coupons printed and I don't have it with me. But what I do every week, now I'm not a like master couponer, okay? That's not me at all. But I have this little envelope that I put coupons on, I wrote coupons on it, and I put it inside of my purse when I'm going on my weekly errands. You know, like you go to the grocery store and all of that. I pop it in my purse and I put them all in date order so I know where I'm going and so have price books with like on my radar. So I would stop, get coffee, and go into, into have price books and just take my time and browse and I even took pictures of some of the books that I wanted to buy over the course of the week using my coupons because it's not too far from my house. So I'm going to show you the books that I got first. Okay. The first book, actually I'm going to show you one of my subscriptions that came in, which is the Interweave Knits. This is just a subscription that I have and they had some pretty good stuff in here, primarily sweaters. Um, and I'm almost building up the courage to do that. But the first book that I purchased is this Fresh Fashion Knits. And as you see here, the book was $5.99. And I bought this book for 40% off of the $5.99. And the listed price is $22.99. Now... This book is going to stretch me creatively because unlike some of the other books that I have, if you've ever purchased a knit book, you know that 
they always have a lot of the basic stuff in there like how to do the knit stitch how to do the purl stitch how to cast on how to bind off all of that which takes up a lot of pages so if you ever go to Amazon and you see the page count and if you pay attention to that and if that's something that you kind of factor in as to whether you want to buy the book well a lot of those books it's it's kind of like wasted pages for you if you take that into consideration because it's the same thing how to purl how to knit how to cast on um, what else I mean some others may have more than that um, how uh, different types of yarn you know all that other stuff this book has none of that in here none of it and the directions I purely bought this because the sweaters look so super nice because <laughs> I will probably be transcribing these patterns <laughs> before I actually start. So let me show you a couple of the patterns that caught my eye if I can get them to show up on camera. And um, I'm trying to find it. Oh, oh, well, I guess I could show you the ones that I have tagged, so I won't take forever. And this video will be kind of long. Because I haven't updated you all in a while. So that means I have some time on your radar. Okay. Actually, one of the things that this book has that I love is at the beginning of the book, it has all of the um, sweaters laid out in like an editorial style spread. And so one of the sweaters that I really liked was this low. I guess I could, you all know I could have been prepared, but forgive me, forgive me. Oh man, and they're so nice. The fact that I bought this book for like $3 and something, or was it, it was probably less than that, about $3 and some change is absolutely crazy. Okay, here's one of them. This is the same sweater that I really like. Another one that I like a lot, and I hope, this, oh, is this one. And this one is so basic, but I feel like it's a good basic. It's a basic that when I work up the courage, it would make a very good addition to my collection of sweaters. Look at that. And is she not super flaw the way she is modeling this? Okay. And there are many others. I think it's a total of maybe eight sweaters in here. And this this is a jacket with really beautiful cables on the front. So anyway, this is one of the books that I got. The next book that I purchased is Very Easy Circular Knits. This book was $7.99. I bought this book for 50% off. And yes, I know how to knit in the round, but what I like about this is that I kind of taught myself to knit in the round. I um, I didn't even watch very many YouTube videos. It's just that right after I got the hang of knitting, I immediately wanted to buy the interchangeable circular needles. And once I did that, it meant that I had to knit in the round. I didn't <laughs> I didn't really think about the fact that it you know it's just different. It's a difference. Um, the, the instructions in here are, they do have those basic things that I told you about, like the, you know, the knit, the purl, but it also has things like, um, buttonholes and, um, the pictures are really clear, which I love. Um, I had another book that I actually purchased and took back because once I sat down and I looked at it kind of closely, the pictures really didn't do very much and I don't know if it was the angle or the coloring it just didn't work for me but this one even though it's extremely basic um, this book will be very helpful not only for me but also because I take these types of books with me whenever I'm doing classes um, and the one of the the last things that I loved about this book is that it had um, some of your basic stitch uh, patterns or combinations knitted in the round and if you knit in the round as well as doing your standard flat knitting you know that some of the you like your stitch dictionary are usually printed in a flat and it's not the same when you're knitting in the round because when you knit flat you you turn your piece much like when you crochet 
But when you're knitting around, you're doing it in a circle so that your right side is always facing up. So you don't have that benefit of flipping. And so it's good to see some of your basic um, stitch patterns done in the round. Um, and so this was a great book. And the regular price on this book is, and of course, I love telling you all the regular price because then that just lets you know like how much of a deal. This was $25.95 and I purchased it for about three, about less than $4. Great, great deal. And what I will do the last time, I have so much stuff. This is ridiculous. The last time that I did one of these really big hauls like this, I made sure that I did a very detailed post on my blog and I will do that for this video. This will have to go up a little bit late because the video, um, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the project that I just finished, actually two projects I just finished and they're going to somebody as a gift. So I don't want to show this video before the person receives the gift. So th I want it all to go up at the same time. So this will be going up uh, uh, probably about three or four days after recording it okay another book that i purchased is custom knits 2 custom knits 2 this book i purchased for 40 percent off and this is 7.99 so i mean you know around the four dollar five dollar range the normal price on this book is 27 dollars and 50 cents Okay, what I loved about this, on top of the fact that it has sweaters in it, yes, another book with sweaters, but what I love about this book is it has many sections on customizing, um, how you can um, make adjustments um, to garments, and I'm going to show you a couple of things that really caught my attention. Let's see, I haven't, I have not tapped this one up yet. Okay, here's one sweater. Look at that. Really, really pretty. I don't know why she has on a sweater with a bikini bottom. This, <laughs> this book must have been a man taking the photography because it's like women in sweaters with bikini bottoms. Um, another, um, well, it's the customization and there was another one that was really big. Oh, I love this one. It's like a um, bolero. I like boleros. I really do. The pictures are really great. Um, what I like most is the customization. The fact that it was it was less than five dollars for this book that would have clearly I mean twenty seven you know fifty what was it twenty seven fifty which means it was almost thirty dollars and I paid five dollars for it. Um, it is a hardback book. And I actually have something coming up for you all um, re regarding how I handle um, the particular binding and everything on my book. So stay tuned for that. The last book that I purchased is another very basic book, which is this knit book, The Basics and Beyond. This book is $12.48. I actually got this one for 50% off too. Um, I don't know, was it 50 I think I did, let's see the 40 or 50 on this one. The regular price on this was $24.95. And the reason why I bought this, even though it was kind of over what I would have paid at half price books, is because this has the binding that I love, which is, now this is actually not even spiral bound, but it is a binder style. So you can actually remove the pages, which I love. And the other part about this is it comes with a DVD. Now, I have not looked at the DVD yet, but I will. Another feature of this book that I love, love, love is that there are Ziploc um, inserts where you can put your different notions or put, um, you know, whatever little um, items that you want to put in, in it, several of them in here. And there is all, um, also no pages, which I love because... I typically try my best not to mark on my patterns. Um, so if I make any adjustments or any changes, I have a notebook that I always have on hand, that same notebook, and I take hand notations um, to any for any changes that I make when I'm using a pattern. So um, why I purchased this book 
it's another great basic basic book but i am also um it has some great patterns in here but what i really liked was some of the things that i've already showed you as well as it has some really good um stitch patterns i'm trying to build up my stitch um my stitch patterns um because I have quite a few of them for crochet, but not as many of them for knit. And now, um, I probably have, oh, I have another one that I didn't show you all. But I maybe have now a set of probably seven or, or eight different stitch, stitch dictionaries. <laughs> and there's a couple of more that are on my radar. And I think once I get those, they'll be great. Um, and so, yeah. And when you can get them on sale like I did, again, this is the other one. Oh, and they call them Ziploc polyvinyl bags for storage. Okay, so this one says it's 108 pages of how to basics and beyond 17 projects on carry along cards because the fact that you can remove them from the binder. 24 stitch patterns on carry along cards. Um, knit notes, Ziploc polyvinyl bags for storage and learn to knit DVD. I have not checked out the DVD yet, but I mean, knowing me, it'll probably be something that I use for my daughter because I do already have um, a DVD for knitting, but I haven't looked at it yet. And they also are supposed to have cables, and the other DVD that I have does not have cables. After doing the cable hat, I, I really like cables. So, that was the last book. Now, to the yarn and stuff so much and i've been collecting this much like half price books my favorite stop which is joanne's had a crazy yarn sale so i went well they had a yarn sale as well as they had some great coupons i had some 40 percent 50 percent 25 percent off total purchase as well as 20 percent off because i'm a military um vet so i had 20 percent off my entire purchase including sales items so what I did, because I knew this sale was coming up, is I saved all of my, I had a list of all of the yarn that I needed to purchase for my Christmas gifts. And um, I'm actually going to start on them tonight. So let me show you what I have. Okay, I'm going to start with the easy stuff. I have some of this Burnett Softy Chunky. I have three skeins of this. And um, this was actually on sale as a clearance from the October yarn for the um, breast cancer or can breast cancer awareness month. So I got this for a really great deal. I got three schemes of this because this is all going to be for one project. And for the same type of project, this is going to be for one person. And I have the same project that I'm knitting for someone else that would like that same pattern done in red. So I have, um, it's also the Burnett Softy Chunky. And this is in red. Oh, and I guess I could have told you the colors. Oh, hot pink. And this is very red. Kind of look thicker. This is six super chunky. I'll both of them are super chunky though. Hmm. So there they are. I bought three of these as well because they're actually for the same pattern, different colors. And I'm stacking them up. I bought more of this. Um, this is with love in the color Hollyberry, and this is um for a different project um this is a red um i really love knitting with this with love it seems to last forever and so um i'm liking this a lot i'm liking it a lot even though i was trying to move away from red heart i found that the with love and i found the soft and both of them i just love i love it love it love it and then I found this. This is Pearl Essence Everyday. Well, it's Rainbow Classic by 
Pearl Essence every day. And this is the chunky, um, no, this is a bulky yarn, so it's uh, um, a size 5, but it's in this big, huge 11-ounce ski. Um, Joanne's had this, have, well, at the time of this recording, it's on sale for $7.99, which is awesome. And I'm making some um, Christmas gifts with this yarn, so I bought two skeins of it, and I also bought some other things to go with it. So I bought two of these, or two of these. Okay, and I know, I was supposed to be staying away. Okay, this is all the yarn, I think. Some other little things that I, now, all of that yarn, I paid less. What the yarn, okay, I'm gonna show you the notions as well. I bought some more split ring markers and these were on sale at Joann's as well. And even though they were on sale, I got an additional 20% 20, 20 off with my military discount. And the cable stitch holders because I needed another set of these. I also purchased some buttons. And I already opened them and this is how I keep them. I bought this multicolor pack because it's actually going to go with that black yarn that I am using for some holiday gifts. And then I purchased these. They they look like they're wooden, but they're not wood. They're really cute though. They have like little like little leaves on them. Leaves on them. And so I kind of just keep them in here. Okay, so all of these items that I'm showing you today with all of my coupons, and yes, I used six or seven maybe even eight coupons plus my military discount I bought all this stuff for less than thirty dollars and it's gonna be many 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 holiday gifts so in closing I think it's gonna be in closing um I am going to show you the project that I just finished now this project uh, my sister loves to make um, custom baths and um, she usually does the custom baskets based on a theme and she's doing a basket for someone that um, is going to be going into um, chemo and so she knew she wanted to make this basket and she asked me if I would help her and so we found out that the the recipient's favorite colors are red and pink I mean sorry black and pink and so I made her this I made her this chemo hat, which is knitted, and as you see, it's with the stripes. Here's the top. It's ribbed, and I made this to match. Now, this was totally on the fly, but I gave it a name. I'm calling it an Essence Neck Scarf. I had to think about it because I had to... I had to name it on the fly. Okay, I'm gonna. Sh I'm actually gonna put it on, and then I'll show you the detail. Oh, no. Tell me if you're interested in finding out how to make it. That's what you all have to do. If no one says anything, I won't say any details. I'll just show you in this video, and we'll leave it at that. So here we go. Yes. Here we go. And this is so that when she's in treatment and she has it on, we made my sister made her a blanket. It matches the colors. I actually knit it and it is very textured because I did it in two different stitches as well as I used crochet on the border. And this is the other way to wear it. And now this is my favorite way to wear it. Again, um, and this can be kind of styled any way you like. I'm making another one for myself as well. And this is kind of hard to see with the coloring, but it's very textured, which you all know I, if you pay attention. I like stuff with texture and dimension because I tend to wear solids. 
And so with something like this, it will really add some more flair to whatever I'm wearing, even though I'm not going to wear this. And so um, I embellished it with this pretty pink button, which was one of the buttons from the set. And I really, really like this. I had something in mind and I kind of just knitted in until I kind of, until I achieved it. So, I have taken up much of your time. Um, I just got craziness going on in my life. Yes. So, I am still knitting and crocheting. Um, I loved doing this last project because I actually had an opportunity to mix the two together and it turned out great. So I'm actually going to make more of these because this is the first time and I kind of made it on the fly. Well, not kind of. I did. I made it on the fly and I love it. I love it. I also have another skein of yarn that I plan to use, do that pattern with, do this pattern with. Um, but it's variegated and so I'm looking forward to seeing how that turns out so in the description box I will include hopefully the link to the other coupon video that I did before in the comment section I would love to know what you're working on and how everything is going and what you are making for the holidays I, it seems like I'm getting the same requests over and over again for um, the little booties and the leg warmers which are so cute super cute with ankle boots and what else of course hats and we have not experienced really cold weather here um, but I have been able to wear the hats so that's it for me I am off I'm looking around to see if I forgot anything, but I don't think I did. I showed you everything. As always, I appreciate you for watching. Please make sure that you like the video, comment, subscribe to my channel, and uh, let me know what you got going on. I will hopefully talk with you all sooner than later. Take care and goodbye.